Good morning. Welcome to Seven Pines Elementary School. My name is Katie Malzahn, and these are my awesome third graders. Today, you will be watching a math lesson. Okay, boys and girls, to start, we are going to um, have our warm-up question. I want you to look up at the board, and you will see two pictures. Think in your head real quick. How are these two pictures alike, and how are they different? When you found a way that they're alike or different, give me a thumbs up close to your body. And if you can find more than one way, start adding your fingers. I'll give you a couple minutes to think. Or about a minute to think. How are they the same, alike, and how are they different? Go ahead and turn to your table and talk about how you find those two things alike and different. So if you, if you need to move over here or move your chair, you can't. All right, Connor, talk to your table. How are they the same? Uh, they all, I don't think they're like four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. All right, listen to what Connor said, too. I like what you said, Yakadia. How are they alike? Okay. Okay. I like how you use the units, Chance. Did you share that with them? All right. How are they alike? They're alike because they're both rules. Okay. How are they? Okay. How are they different? Okay. Awesome. All right, go ahead and start wrapping up your conversations. All right, raise your hand if you would like to share how you or your table found something that's alike or different. Chance? Right. A lot of your classmates said that too. One thing I noticed that you said, um, Chance, is you pointed out the unit of measure, inches and centimeters, and I really enjoyed hearing that. The Acadia? The way that I think they're alike because they both are rules. Yeah, they both are rules. different because I was going to say the same thing with Chance because one of them says inches and one of them says centimeters. Very good. Did anybody notice anything else? One more. Sophie? Why is that? So a lot of you said one, ha uh, one has way more numbers than the other. Why are there only three for inches and nine for centimeters? Because I'm noticing they're about the same length. So why does one have more numbers and one have less numbers? What do you think, Sanaya? Because centimeters are small. Oh, did you hear what she said? Yeah. What'd she say? Say it again. She said inches are bigger and centimeters. Yeah, that was worth saying twice. The inches are bigger and the centimeters are smaller. So remind me real quick. We're going to go ahead and um, review with our body. Remind me real quick our customary units. Show me an inch with your body. Remind me about how big that is. Show me an inch with your body. Awesome. Show me about a foot with your body. Good. Show me about a yard with your body. And then when we're measuring miles, we probably have to drive there or fly there. It's a longer distance, right? Or we might have to run there. Longer distance. For metric, show me a centimeter with your body. Awesome. The length or the width of your pinky. Show me a meter with your body. Good. And show me a kilometer, kilometer. Longer distance, driving or flying. Awesome job. All right. So. We are going to start with a conversation. We have some puppets up here, you see, right? And we have Parker and we have Damien. And Parker and Damien both measured the same puppet, right? They're the same, right? And they both used inches, but they got two different answers. Parker thinks this puppet is two and a half inches, and Damien thinks this puppet is three inches. One of them has made a mistake. 
a pretty common mistake. I want you to look at it first. Some of you already have your hands up because you're seeing that mistake that was made. An easy fix for one of those students to make. Go ahead and talk with your tables and see if you can figure out who is correct and who made the mistake. And what do you think? Talk to them. Because... All right, what do you think? Damien forgot to line it up at the zero. Did forget to line it up at the zero, or did Parker forget to line it up at the zero? Parker. How do you know? What did Parker line it up with then? Hmm. What do you think? No. What do you guys think? What did Parker line it up with then? Who lined it up with the zero, Damien or Parker? Parker did, do you think so? With the zero or with the end of the ruler? Hmm, well then who's right? What do you guys think? Fix that mask. The end of the ruler or with the zero? Okay, so who's correct? Okay. All right. Go ahead and wrap up your conversations. I heard two different answers, actually. So let's talk about it. Parker thinks two and a half, and if I come here, I do see that it's at two and a half. And Damien says three, and if I bring my finger down, it does say three. But if it's the same ruler and the same poppet, what is the mistake? How can it be at both two and a half and three? Someone's made a mistake. Shane, what do you think? I think Parker's wrong because he didn't line it up to the end where it's supposed to be. Okay, but he did line it up with the end, right? The end of the ruler. What is, keep going because you're right. Did he line it up with the end of the ruler or? Oh, so who's right? Parker or Damien? Parker. Okay, hmm, so what does this table think? Parker. You think Parker? No, yeah, Parker is right because Damien didn't line it up at the end. But what are we lining it up with? The end of the ruler or the zero? The zero. All right, table two, let's hear from you real quick and then we'll determine our answer. What do you think? Colton, I haven't heard from you yet. Awesome. Yeah, so if we came like this, oops, did Parker line it up? That was a crooked line, but did Parker line it up with the end of the ruler or the zero? The end of the ruler. Macario, if the zero is right here, he lined it up with the end of the ruler, right? So that's going to mean that he has to pick up his poppet and move it down some, and when he moves it down some, will it turn out like Damien's here? Yeah. Yeah, so is it... Parker, two and a half, or is it closer to three when you actually line it up with a zero? All right. So when you use your ruler here in a few minutes, make sure that you aren't making that mistake. Make sure that you are lining up the line with the zero and not the end of the ruler. We have one more to look at real quick. Maya and Molly have also measured something. They both measured this high chew candy. And one of them says it's two and a half, and one of them says it's two, because their teacher said measure this candy to the nearest half inch. So if they have to measure to the nearest half inch, is it two and a half, or is it two? Two and a oh, half. Talk real quick to your tables, and then tell me. Tell each other why. Oh, I'd love to hear my favorite word. It's two and a half because she's a half. Oh, I'm sorry. 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 I'm sorry.
So she's saying she has to add that half inch because the teacher said half inch. Is that correct? What share your thinking with her because you had a different opinion. What do you guys think over here? Who is it? Okay, but look at the candy. Is it touching the two or is it touching the two and a half line? But look at the candy. Is it touching the two or is it touching the two and a half? Go up there and touch the two. Touch the end of the candy. Yeah, go up there and find the end of the candy. If this is the end of the candy right here, is it at two or is that at two and a half? So then, does that change your thinking? Okay, why? What do you think? Is it two or two and a half? Why? They both put it at the zero. But go ahead. Says it's two and two, two and a half inches, but that is wrong. So what is it? Two inches. Good job. All right. What did you guys think? We thought it said Mia and Molly were two inches. So what did you think? Two or two and a half? Two and a half inches. Why? Because that's the closest. Half an inch. Mm, does it always have to have a half an inch on the end? Or if it's at the two, is that what it is? Is that part of that half inch counting by half? Zero, half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half? Do we always have to just put a half on the end? No. So who's right then? If it's at that two, is it Molly or Maya? Molly. Why? Because she has two inches. Yeah, so Maya probably thinks she just has to add that half, don't you think? But is that correct? No. All right, go ahead and start wrapping up your conversations. Okay. There were quite a few changed opinions this time, and I think what tricked you is it says the nearest half inch. So. Is it Maya who thinks it's two and a half or Molly? Because they actually both lined it up with a zero this time, right? They lined it up exactly the same, but they thought two different things. Jalea, what do you think? Molly or Maya? Why? Why is it two and not two and a half? Why is Molly correct? Good, you don't always have to just add a half, right? Zero, one half, one, one half, one and a half, two, two and a half, three. That is part of counting by the halves, right? So if it's right at the two, we don't have to just add a half on the end, do we? Do you think that's what Maya maybe thought? Yeah. She got to the two and thought, well, I need to add a half, so two and a half. But it's not really at two and a half, is it? Do you see that mistake she made? Yeah. Okay. Real quick, before I let you start to measure on your own, who can come up here and highlight the half inch marks? The half inch marks. You want to go ahead and go, Acadia? Can you fix that nose, please? I appreciate it. All right, let's look and see. Either give her help or support when she turns around. or show her that you agree if she's got it correct. All right, did she get all the half inches? Very good, awesome job. Okay, you are now going to use your ruler to practice measuring. So you'll each get one of these papers and then you will each get, each table will get a bag of something to measure. 
So there's a line at the bottom or on the side. If you're measuring height, it's on the side. You can move these cards all around. You are measuring the line that will help you get to that exact measurement. You are measuring to the nearest half inch. Does that mean you always have to have a half inch? No. It could be two. It could be three and a half. It could be five, right? That closest, whether it's the whole inch or the half of inch, okay? Line up. So your number, pause real quick and put your eyes on me just to make sure you understand. Pause real quick and put your eyes on me. Ready? Already has one. Rasheem, are you ready? You will notice that each card has a number. You will write the length of that on your recording sheet, okay? These are measured in inches. Go ahead and measure your first one, and I'll tell you when to switch. Make sure you're lining up to the zero. I would say right there. So what is it closest to? Is it closest to two, two and a half, or three? It's not exact, is it? Two and a half, okay. I think it's two and a half. So that's number six, Sophie. Good job. All right, go ahead and write your answers down. All right, when you're ready, can you give me just a thumbs up so I know you're ready to switch? And maybe if you need some help, you can put your hand up as I'm coming around. Some of them are not exact. You're going as close as you can. Awesome job. But let's look at this. Is this one right at the two, two and a half, or three? Mm. Yep, so just put two. And I'm seeing a lot of numbers without any units. If we are using our inches, you can write inch, but you can also use your abbreviations. But make sure you label your number so that we know. Okay, put IN, and you can erase number one. All right, I'm going to give you a few more seconds. When you're ready, hold that paper in your hand, because we're just going to go ahead and rotate it. You got it. What's the link there? Yeah. And then your number one, so just put that right there. Awesome job. You ready, Tristan? All right. You've lined it up perfect. So what's that? Right there. Show us how you measured this leaf. Line up that ruler. Why not? Is it backwards? <laughs> A little bit. That's okay. All right, how did you measure that? Go ahead and turn and talk to them. Bye. You lined it up with the? With the line. At the zero or the end? The zero. Good. And how long was that leaf? The leaf was two and a half inches. Two and a half. And it turned out a little backwards, but here is his one. Oh, it is hard to see. One, two and a half right there, halfway between two and three. Awesome job. Shane, go ahead and sit down. Do I take my ruler? No, you can leave it. Thank you, though. Okay, raise your hand if you can tell me what we were working on today. What were you working on today, Acadia? What did we learn? Measuring. Measuring with a? With a ruler. To the nearest? To the nearest. Half. 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 Centimeters or inches? Centimeters. What do we use, centimeters or inches today? Both. We did both during morning work, but right now we worked with Inch. inches. Good. And how do we know if we're able to do that? How do you know, yeah, I can measure to the nearest half inch? How are you able to know if you've learned that today, Acadia? Because if you have your ruler and it says I N or I N C H, that means inches, and then you can go under whatever you need to measure. And then if you go to C, then Good, so measure it. Make sure you use the inches side. Line it up with the? Yeah. Zero. Very good. Thank you for watching. Bye! Bye.